Good afternoon. It is Friday, July 14th, 2023. Have a few events and a few birthdays today. Adjust the camera there. Um, as far as the events go, on this day, 1990, Tommy Ellis won at New Hampshire International Speedway in the Bush Series. This was the first national NASCAR Touring Series race at that new facility that was formerly run as Briar Motorsports Park, which there was a couple NASCAR North races run there in the 80s. But this was Ellis' last career win and his only win on a track over one mile in length. 1995 at Colorado National Speedway, Butch Miller won his first and only Truck Series race at a what could be considered closest finish in NASCAR history at one ten thousandth of a second. I believe it was over Mike Skinner. 2001 at Chicago Lynn, Kevin Harvick wins the inaugural cup race at that facility for his second career win. And in 2020, the all-star race was held at Bristol Motor Speedway during that crazy year that we had. It was originally slated to be run at Charlotte, but of course with uh, what went down in 2020, got moved to Bristol that's when they had the numbers shoved backward to the back of the car and those ugly lights underneath. <coughs> so let's go with birthdays today. Sorry about that pause. I was getting ready to have a coughing spell there. Uh, so anyway, born on this date in 1970, Jimmy Elledge, former Cup Series crew chief. I know he was uh, with Bobby Hamilton's team there with Andy Petrie Racing, maybe with Ken Schrader. I can't remember... Memory kind of fades in and out there. Born on this date in 1979, former part-time Xfinity and Truck Series driver, sprint car driver, and lawbreaker in a couple different ways, Tyler Walker. So this was a Great Clips race schedule trading card. A friend of mine had years ago went to a Great Clips, picked up a couple of those for me. So they'd just been kind of floating around the collection. Uh, the probably the biggest memory I have of Tyler Walker in the Xfinity series was uh, when Greg Biffle won a race, I believe it was at Phoenix, and the previous week he had gotten crashed out by Tyler Walker. In the uh, Winter Circle interview, they asked Greg Biffle uh, what was his secret to winning that day. His first sentence was, uh, Tyler Walker wasn't in the race. So he didn't have a glamorous career, and I believe he was eventually arrested because of a high-speed chase that went through, I believe, California, Arizona, Nevada, somewhere in the desert country. But he had some legal issues. Nonetheless, <coughs> he was a pretty decent sprint car racer. Our next birthday, born on this date in 1999, current ARCA Series driver and part-time truck racer, Miss Tony Breidinger. Of course, she races for Venturini Motorsports, in the ARCA series, and has had a few starts for Tricon Garage in the truck series, and coincidentally, the truck that Haley Deegan formerly piloted. So here's a few of the recent Tony Breidinger pickups that I have. <clears throat> a couple inserts, a couple rookie cards. And then our final birthday, born on this day in 1998, is kind of one of the more newer polarizing drivers of NASCAR. Got several Xfinity Series wins, but he is struggling as a rookie in Cup. You guessed it, Mr. Noah Gregson. And these are just random, uh, and I thought this was a rookie card. This is not his rookie card, the 2019 Prism. I would really like for the racing card industry to get on board like the baseball card industry has and have like, I, I don't like in baseball where it has their first card, but then the rookie card might come out three years later. So we'll get to that here in a second. But uh, Noah had a pretty decent, pretty good actually Xfinity Series career winning several races, including a race at Daytona. For junior motorsports this year of course he is driving for legacy motor club in what could just be I, I don't want to call it a bust year but unless he comes out and just really rips off an awesome last half of the season of course he did get that concussion at gateway in these horribly unsafe cars that nascar likes to pass off as oh they're safe 
well, then why do we have a Hall of Fame driver whose career ended because of a crash, and Bowman, who had that crash at, po at Texas last year, and now Gregson. So you've got three drivers in the last year out with concussions. When was the last time, and then, of course, Cody Ware had the broken foot as well, but three concussions in, what, a 10-month period? When was the last time that we had any issues like that, NASCAR? And then uh, our final card here, the 2017 Absolute. Even though Trading Card Database doesn't say this is a rookie card, I'm going to grant it the rookie card status based on the fact that it's the first card listed that is not an insert, an autograph, and is part of a base set, I guess. that, that that's, my, that's my criteria for being a rookie card, is it has to be part of, it has to be the first release of a base set that's, that is a mass market release. So any NASCAR card in my book, and this could be a bit of a controversial take, any card before 88 max to me is not considered a rookie. So like the 72 STP, the 83 Uno, the 86 Sports Star Photographics, I'm a bit iffy on calling any of those rookie cards just because the way that the releases were. But, you know, however the card companies want to call it, that's what we'll have to go by. But anyway, thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you come back and see us tomorrow. And by the way, hit that like and subscribe button on your way out. We really, really would appreciate it. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the morning.